hello everyone this is your girl Leanna and today is um, Friday June the 14th 2013 and today is time for my second ever most injection um, I'm not wearing any makeup I just woke up it's 9 41 in the morning and as you guys know I don't have class Fridays so it kind of um, oh, I have chocolate or it was chocolate from last night. I have, um, as you guys don't have class today, so it works out with my injection schedule. And I've been noticing that on my videos, my sound has been skipping, which is stupid and annoying. But I have to make do with what I have for now. I have my hair in a bun. Um, and I promised you guys I was actually going to make an update or a um, tutorial of how to inject. Um, and me personally, I'm in college. I'm a college student. Um, so I make do with what I have. And I know that some of you girls may be in the same situation. Now, my last injection, as you guys may know, um, was on Friday, the 31st of May, 2013, which was two weeks ago, um, or two Fridays ago. And it was at 3 p.m. And it's 9.42 a.m. Um, and it's the 14th today, so um, 31st, and then the Friday after that was the 7th, and I skipped that one, and I'm on the 14th, which is due for my other injection. Let me give you guys a little introduction on what I'm going to use first. Um, I'm not all fancy and all of that. I'm not going to, you know, edit the video and point the camera only at the medicine, because what good does my personality do? And my look? If I'm only going to introduce the products, <laughs> I'm just saying, I just, I just I don't have the patience for it. So, I mean, if I had a um, better camera, then that would be the case. I don't. So, it sucks that I have to, like, work with what I have, but I'm going to work with what I have. Um, so, first and foremost, a little history about me. Um, you guys know that prior to the injections, I'm not saying from the beginning, because that was a whole other thing, but prior, just prior to the injections, I was taking two, um, I was taking two pills of two milligrams, so two pills, two milligrams twice a day, um, so, with, which would equal to four milligrams a day, because I take one of these in the morning and one of these at night, of the estrogen two milligrams, um, and these are all, I've been out forever, um, I'm taking, I was, I was taking, um, four milligrams total a day under my tongue, sublingually, which is working wonders, um, and I switched over to, and I was always, I'm oh, sorry, and I started off on 100 milligrams of this a day, of spironolactone, or spirotone, and eventually brought it up when I brought these up to four, um, to 200, I'm sorry, to 200 milligrams a day. So from 100 milligrams a day to 200 milligrams a day, one pill in the morning, one at night, along with these. So one reminded me of other, um, which was really convenient and effective, or is really effective and convenient. So now that I switched over from that, I felt like I was ready to, for it. Um, <clears throat> just two weeks ago. So I want to say in the beginning or in the middle of my third month. I switched over to uh, my third and a like third month and a half. So in the middle of my third month and a half, or third month and a half, that makes sense. So around my third month, third month and a half, I switched over to Dragon on Deep Pot, which is um um Pragana, which is actual dollar injection. And I switched over to um Tw uh, 20 milligrams every other week or every two weeks. So about 10, I'm not receiving about 10 milligrams a week. So with that being said, I already washed my hands. I think I'm going to have to go wash them again so I handle all these things, but that doesn't matter. I washed the area already and I have all the hot pads. But I'm going to wash these here in a second. Um, So what I'm going to go ahead and instruct you guys to do is how to inject the actual dollar I'm male to female. I'm not female to male. I'm not so... <laughs> Um, you know, I'm a bit tomboyish. Um, I'm actually going to inject um, 20 milligrams in an injection. 
And I'm using, I'm going to be using this today. And I'm going to show you guys what the product looks like. Let me just not pull it out because, I mean, I'm going to pull it out, but I just don't want to make it fall out. They come in little vials like this. I'm going to put my hand there because I've had them break on me before. I had one before. And it's clear liquid inside. Each of those containers is about 10 in this um, box. Each of those containers um, contain 10 milligrams or 1 milliliter. So I'm going to have to use two. And I'm going to use a 3 milliliter 23 gauge 1 inch syringe. Come on, focus. Well, it's, it's 23 milliliter, 20, it's 3 milliliters, 23 gauge, 1 inch syringe. I'm going to use that also, and I'm going to use alcohol swaps. I got just like a dollar at Walmart, the shit. Uh, by the way, I got everything at Walmart, and these actually are from a friend. And I'm going to use band-aids, my regular light flex elastic band-aid. So with that being said, I'm going to go wash my hands, and I'll be right back. Um, I apologize, I don't have all the office supplies. I just touched my freaking hair. Okay. I washed my hands, they're all clean. Um, make sure you have nails, make sure you undo your nails. Um, so now that I have the area cleaned, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take, I'm going to choose a spot. So I'm looking at my thigh. And I chose a spot right about here. So with that being said, I'm going to take my alcohol swab. Luckily mine comes with two. I don't have any sterile gloves, so I'm going to wash my hands. And it's found blood, so if you're working with someone else, you would want to wash your hands, wear gloves, clean the area, and all that good stuff. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and take my alcohol swab. I only want the top off, as you guys can see, we're going to utilize this to open one of the vials. And I say one because you can't do it twice, trust me, I'll tell you guys why. So I have the alcohol so I already have my site chosen, clean from the center out in circular motion. Do about two inches around the area, don't just do a little circle, do about two inches around the area so you have maneuverability and space to work. And now that we have that cleaned up, I'm going to put this and set aside. Let that air dry for a second. Then I'm going to prep my supplies. I'm going to take one of these vials. I'm actually going to take two of them. Because I want to inject 20 milligrams in today. And I'm actually going to try something new. Because the last time I tried to do something, this is my syringe. So we have both vials set it out aside. I'm going to take the syringe, pop the bad boy open, and actually what I'm going to try to do is pop the back off like this, set it aside somewhere so it's not touching anything else. I put the, it on top of the, the box like this, so where the tip is not touching any other surface. And this gives me space to, um, to pour this in here because this is a thick liquid. Um, so this is drying. I'm going to set this aside. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to slide it right in there. Kind of doesn't look right, but trust me. And you're gonna, what you're going to do is pull away from you. So what you're going to want to do is Kind of go like that, away from you. It's so freaking hard. 
Oh, there we go. And I just got a whole thing. I'm gonna have to make sure that I don't step in freaking glass because I just dropped like a big chunk. There's glass in there as you guys can see it. I think, I think it damaged. I think it did. Damage the case. The little cut right there. So we're gonna set this aside definitely for sure. It's not a perfect cut at all. Um, and make sure there's no glass in there. You'll be fine. So then I'm going to take that spot that I cut myself with. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to clean around the tip. Make sure nothing falls, nothing else falls in. So every time you're on that edge, clean it, lean it outwards. You have glass on my finger. And this glass is not a joke, so just be very careful. Unless it's cleaned up. What I'm going to go ahead and do is take it. Now I'm going to set it aside. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to take my other alcohol swab, open just the top like I showed you guys, grab this bad boy, and then set this on the side, then we're going to take this, insert it in there, and then, I hate that it just cracked. Oh no, this one is unusable. This one has so much glass. Low part, a big chunk of glass in this one. What if? What if I do it my own way? So I'm actually going to go ahead and do it. Take the syringe. I haven't unplugged it yet. Take the one that doesn't have the debris. Now we're going to do I have the one that doesn't have the debris. And I'm going to pour it in. But then I have the one that does have the debris. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is insert this bad boy inside there. Let the food flow towards the bottom. Let it rest. And then the one that does have the degree, the debris, this one, I'm going to take the syringe off. Oh, make sure this is twisted on there. Good. And the liquid was already trying to come out. Ah. Okay, luckily it was important. A lot of the liquid is coming out, which sucks. This is not a joke to waste. Push this all the way to the top. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is take this, go in here, and Inject. I'm trying to get all the liquid from the other one. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure because that one, this one actually had glass in it. Um, you don't want glass inside your body. Trust me. Luckily, it was a big glass particle, so it can't really get through. And this is going to act like a vacuum. You guys see I'm holding it. So where the needle head is.
This is pretty empty. I'm pretty satisfied. So not that this still has a glass particle in there, but it's not in here. So now, what we're going to do is check it. These are not just bubbles. Bubbles are okay. I should be going down, half of this is like air, so I should be going down to like two, almost two milligrams. Because I'm losing so much liquid, as you guys can see, I'm just going to let the, those are air bubbles and liquid, so I'm just going to splat these. Oop. Kind of tap it. You want no bubbles. We can't have no bubbles. I'm around. Around there. About one and a half. A little bit past. Um, between, I'm about one and 75. 1.75 ml, which is acceptable. Being that I couldn't take it all off of that one. So now this is all ready to go and check. I still have this. This one. And the site is still there. So that site is already cleaned. This is fine. Mm, it's fine. So now that we are, this is our way to go. I'm going to double check it for bubbles. And now, I'm going to, now that it's already no bubbles. Aim down to my fat where I chose the injection area. I'm going to kind of bring up the muscle. Make sure you have the needle like this so you can grip it. Relax. Oh, I have a glass on the floor. I forgot. Damn. Okay, relax. I plant around here. So I'm going to grab around and just. Slowly inject. It's going down really efficiently. Almost there. This one does burn just a tad bit. But it's an injection. And we're all done. Pull out. Of course, never recap. Take this one. And I'm bleeding. Ooh. So if it is bleeding just a tad bit, I'm going to take this right here. Clean this area out really well. It's bleeding, and the reason for it to be bleeding, it's not supposed to be, but if it is, um, then I should have drawn back and made sure I didn't get a flash, which I didn't do, which is always fun. So what I'm going to go ahead and do to solve this problem here, is actually have a band-aid, handy and dandy, and voila. Um, there you go. Sorry if it was bleeding. I should have gone back. Being that I'm the medical field and all that. But it's a good injection. It's a good, um, it was a proper injection. Now that this is all done, you never recap, but I did. And the way I recap is a really efficient way is if the cap is laying, say the cap alone is laying there. You see all the liquid is in my body. And the reason it kind of started 
dropping out like that was because the liquid was trying to leave my body. This is oil that's really thick and it's not used to your body so it tries to eject. Um, but now it's in there and it's all fine. So with that being said, um, if you want, if you need to recap for any reason, not, I never ever suggest recapping, but if you want to recap for any reason, for safety reasons, even though it's not a safety reason, it's more of a hazard, um, if the lid is on a flat surface, say this is a table, and the lid is just laying there, you can never use your other hand, no one's around, you can kind of scoop the lid up, like, this is a lid, the whole lid, you kind of scoop it up, let it adjust, and then you just, while it's already on there, you just press it down, and you have a cap needle, um, but you always, re if you're going to, if you have to recap, make sure you do so by, um, by the table method, or the flat surface method, or the scoop method, you just go in there, Superman scoop, scoop it, let it adjust, and you, you tighten it down. And then this is my container, as I showed you guys before, it's a little ghetto, um, but it's my container. And this is my packaging container for the bad boys. Be careful for the one that does have glass. Make sure you clean all the areas. Hmm. And you can actually leave a bag in um, or leave it on for about. Mm. 15, I want to say about 15 to 20 minutes afterwards, it's fine. If it keeps bleeding, go seek medical help. Um, it usually does, the body usually does really well with collaborating. Um, so now you guys got the tutorial, I'm going to go wash my hands again, and um, before I wash my hands, of course, I'm going to go ahead and notify and write down the time and date that I injected myself. Okay, so um, now I'm not due till the 28th. So I'm going to go ahead and add on my iPhone third estrogen injection due. And I always remind myself the day ahead. It's today Friday. I was supposed to be at the freaking orientation. Ooh. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, no, this is not good at all. Alert at time of the event. So bi weekly, I have it set to. One day before, and the second alert is at time of event. So, you guys got my tutorial injection. I have myself notified. I'm going to make sure I put on some freaking shoes and sweep up all the glass. Um, it's my first tutorial, so I hope it was smooth enough. Um, so this seems to have stopped clogging. It already has to seem to have stopped bleeding a bit, tad bit. Um, I'm going to just sit and watch it, and if it continues, it's already done. It's done bleeding, so we're fine. Um, what else? So, um, so yeah, that's how you inject um, I'm not due till the 28th. 
um, for my next injection. So with that being said, um, if you follow, if you're starting off on injections, that's a good dose to start on. It's three milligrams. Do my research, of course. If you have a health professional that you'll buy back, ask them. Um, once again, I'm not a, I'm not a, um, a physician. I simply um, have experience doing injections um, with my medical assisting experience and being in healthcare for about three years. I'm 22, so um, you guys do the math. And I'm also going to school for the profession that I wish to pursue, which is pre medicine. And I'm also doing language studies, but that has nothing to do with healthcare or any of its. Um, conjoined um, abilities to provide care. So, all right, everyone. Thanks. Um, I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Most likely it's next week as my weekly update. Um, if anything comes up, I'll let you guys know. This video is already 30 minutes long. Bye.